Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Atmos was able to win a matchup, I think, barely convincingly, but... Which was a nice tough pick. But I did like it, but it did make a pick. Okay, so it's been a while. I haven't played PlayStation for a few weeks, really. I've managed to get on sort of once or twice a week just to do stuff for the guild in Neverwinter, but apart from that, I've been on and I went into my May monthly games last night and I downloaded this, whatever it's called. What's it called? Oh, what remains of Edith Finch? Okay. Right, so I don't know what I'm doing. 
No unusual there. Okay, so that's R2. A lot of this isn't going to make sense. And then to right stick to open it. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. Right stick to look round. Left stick to move. I'm saying this so I remember it. Because controls. I've only really played Neverwinter for the past two years. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Uh, no, I, I have no, no clue about this game at all. I just thought I'd try something different for a change. Right, so is this R2 again? Yep. And then direction Inside to the open. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Can I... Right, that's the only thing I could do is shut the... There's some newspapers in there. Can I not look at them? Yeah, so I know absolutely nothing about this game. The only thing I know is I saw on the trailer thing. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. That it was from 2017, I think. Right, how do I get in here? It's open. Push. Oh, there you So I haven't looked at anything about it because I thought I might as well go in blind. Yay! In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. The house? Maybe hey. she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Alright, so that's a path down. Where's the house? The finches. Doesn't say which way though. Right, I don't do horror. I'm just saying that now. Okay. So if this turns out to be a horror game, I'm going to be stopping playing it. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Right, so this is the driveway then. Why have I come on my own? Oh, it's lovely. Oh dear. Can I go any faster? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Now I'm playing this character who's coming back to her house, but she grew up here, so she knows about the house. Like, she's familiar with the house. I haven't got a clue. So, it's not, you know. I have to ro role play like I do. Anything to look at around here? Look inside the truck? Oh. I can hear froggos. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. 
That is a weird ass house. Who builds a house? What building regulations allows you to build a house like that? Come on, people. That's blatant unsafe. I'm getting a creepy vibe like this is a horror game and I don't really do not do horror. Shall I go up the path or the drive? I'm going up the drive. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Oh, I get it. I get it. it makes me feel uncomfortable as well. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Afraid. Afraid of the house. Okay, I'm going to the cat flap. Really? Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay, I'm in. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the key to unlock the door. Well, I have to say, it's looking rust free. Uh, not rust free, dust free. There should be way more dust on these shelves than there is. Ooh, what's that? Can I get it? Nope. I presume I'm going to get a little white dot when I can do stuff, because that's what happened at the Post box. Paddling pool? Can I pick up any tools? Am I going to need something to defend myself? Can I pick up the hammer? Please. Look at that. This is far too clean. What's been going on here? How's that? Oh, it's like a baby swing. Okay. Oh, the light works, does it? The power had been turned off the night we left. No. Okay. So, what has it been? Six years. She left when she was eleven, did she say? For and she's now seventeen. Oh, they've all got the names on the hooks, how cute. I felt like I was home. Really? Even though you're afraid of the house. Look at all the books. This looks like our house. Full of books. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Wow, there's a lot of cans. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except oh, our cat, why. Molly. I can't open any cupboards. Something there. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. What's the books? Cookie book books. I 
I tell you what, this is a remarkably clean house to say it's been abandoned for six years. Wow, so many cans. Right, do I go left or right? Is that somebody at the door? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. No, I can't go out. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. They've got their own little pigeon holes. That's really cute. No. Oh. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. So this is one of the rooms that's sealed up then. Look at all the books, that's amazing. What books have they got? The Viking's Belly. Tasty Thailand. Well, somebody likes cooking. Can't see the others. Can't get up to them. I'm not going upstairs yet. That's where I came out of. Something here. Oh God. I'm gonna get creepy music now. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Always told fits. me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay. I must say I'm kind of glad of that because basement. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Okay. Well, oh, that's cool. They've got a lot of, oh my God. That is amazing. Oh, to have such ceiling height, to be able to do that with your books. I'd never be able to get at them like, but put mine on the low shelves. <laughs> it's amazing. We could fill a library that size, seriously. Okay. Nothing to see here. <clears throat> the 
The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I see you, white dog. I'm coming. Okay, who's is the oxygen and wheelchair that's still been left behind? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Right. So that's Great Grandma. Great Grandma Edie was in there, was she? Right. garage that's the way I came in. Okay. So So that's the garage door. Okay. I go upstairs then. Take it we can't get in this room, I didn't actually try. No. I <laughs> like how you do that to a door, put expanding foam in to seal it up. No doubt the door's locked. You put a wooden bar with metal fastenings to bar it and then you put little fancy embellishments on the wood as if that's going to make it less severe right there's no power so I'm not going up the uh, stair lift look at the pictures After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Wow. Where did we sleep? So Milton disappeared. Who was Milton? Milton disappeared. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Right, so this overlooks the living room. Ooh, there's been an accident here. What happened there? That looks like somebody fell through. Dodgy. Somebody liked spearing insects. Wow, actually I love this house. So all the bedrooms are sealed up. Sven and Edie. Where are we supposed to? Calvin and Sam. Calvin. Is it Calvin and Sam? Weird. Got two different books called The Weird in different colours. <sighs> okay, so there's three bedrooms down there that we can't get to. Oh god, I'd have to 
love this house. Mr. Ball's Bakery. Yeah, more cooking related, food related books. My friend Bigfoot. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara Finch. Is she a child actress? So was this her bedroom then? Edie's father Odin built the original house. Odin? Howdy Odin. Barbara. A wine case, okay. So many books. Okay, is that it before I go upstairs again? Let's see what else is on this floor. Ooh, okay. Go in there in a minute. Who's this? Molly? Time and the gods. Uh, more dead animals. So what's this? Is this the bathroom? It's not been sealed up. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Great Uncle Walter's room. Why is the map? Ooh, that's freaky. I didn't know I could see myself. This is uh, nice. Nice artwork. Ooh, I like it. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Ooh. Okay. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Um. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I need to change my controller. Hold on. Um, in fact, I'll just plug it in. <laughs> I'll just plug it. Plug, 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 plug it in. Do I want to go upstairs before I go in here? Oh, sorry. Let's go in. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh, how did he get in? But I didn't know about it. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, God. Oh, open the door. Oh. Oh. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. All right. I grew Molly. up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, oh, wow. I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. This is Molly's room, okay. Oh, is that a dead hamster? No, just an empty toilet roll in it. Uh. 
Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Gerbil. Oh, that's cute. What books does Molly have? Okay, Monsters of the Deep. Okay, I got the the sense Katie had spent a lot of time here. This is a nice room. Look at that view. It's lovely. Microscope. Molly. <laughs> before my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Oh god, I'm somebody else now. Little kid now. My Halloween candy was all gone. Damn it. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Wow, really? I've just eaten the gerbil food. What's through that door? I've got some fish. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Oh, why would you think about eating Christopher? That's mean. Okay, that's not a spooky view at all, is it? Okay. So do I go out that door or do I go out, go out this way? Because I've not been this way yet. Oh, that's the bathroom. Okay. Toothpaste. I kept eating and eating. Ugh, really? What was that noise? I ate a lot of things that night. Wow. Holly berries. That's not good. Again, another creepy view. <clears throat> then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! Oh wow. God, that freaked me out. Okay, now I'm a cat. Jesus. Get the birdie. Get the bird. Alright, uh, let's jump, let's crouch, let's crouch. What's going on? Ok, 
like a jump up. I should be able to jump up there. Oh, that's the family tree. Was that triangle oppressed? Yeah, that was triangle again. Okay. So I don't seem to be able to. jump so I don't really know what to do um, great I'm stuck why am I purring jump everything makes me crouch L1, R1, L2, R2, L2. Direction arrows don't work. Alright, so I'm stuck now. Like, I should be able to go over there. Why can't I go? Oh, there. Oh. Okay, so that. I think that was L1 and X to jump. I tried oh, to be quiet, but the bird was really bed. scared. Okay, so L2. L1 and X it is, I think. Yep. Why am I following the bird? Just now randomly following branches. Um Oh there it is. Okay. Hey bird. I quite like being a cat. It's cool. I jumped and I almost got her. Hmm. Okay. What you doing, bird? I could tell she was getting really tired. What's this on here? Ooh. Caterpillar and a frog. Right, now where did the bird go? up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. A statue or something over there. I'm going to eat your little birdie. I gobbled her up. Oh, I'm going to fall and die. Suddenly, 
I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Bloody hell. I've got to fly now. Shit. I can't see anything. Bullshit. <laughs> Rabbits. Rabbits. Where? Oh, there's one. Uh... Oh, missed. Oh, shit. Cool. Get it. Oh, I missed. Seriously? How am I supposed to catch a rabbit? Ah, I got a rabbit. I got a rabbit. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through Really? The Don't need to see I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Did I? Bigger than a rabbit. I'm only an owl. A mama rabbit. Where? Gotcha. Gotcha, mama it's rabbit. Too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Wow. And suddenly, I was a shark. Okay. This is a weird ass dream. <laughs> okay. Then. Um, is there some water down there? Um, oh, I can jump. <laughs> Can I turn around? Uh, um, ouch. I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Oh, phew. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh my god. What the hell? Guess I go down. Right, okay. R2 to go down. Fast. Attack something, I suppose. I'm not seeing anything to eat. <gasps> I wanted fat, juicy seals. Oh, it's a seal. Where'd it go? Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, did me rush you see? Ah, come on, jump, jump. <laughs> Wow. This game. Where did she go? She's only got half a flipper. She must be floundering somewhere. Where did she go? She lower down in the right, I'm just swimming in circles now. Go out the water? No. Right, I can't go above the water. Okay. Makes sense, I suppose, as soon as I'm a shark. For God's sake. 
Where's these bleeding seals? Seal with the injured friend. Flipper. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. In my eyes, everything had changed. <laughs> right. Um. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? I'm on an eel now. Or a snake? I'm not doing very well with moving. It's really hard. Come on, move you bugger. Okay, this is a weird way of now I was a monster moving. And I smelled people everywhere. Smelled people everywhere. What? I have no idea. Let's just go this way. I cannot... Where am I going? This is fucking weird. <laughs> like, I'm not really controlling it. I'll try and get off the boat. Can I go this way? Oh my god, this is disgusting. There's some up the stairs. But I moved real quiet. Oh, this is disgusting. Right, so I'm not gonna Satisfied my hunger? No. I'll go upstairs. <laughs> oh my god, this moves so weirdly. I go now. God, somebody sound. Okay. Oh, I didn't catch what that said then. Crawl up the side. 
I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. Okay. Let's go in there again. I don't know what it's saying. I just can't read those words. Can't, can't I eat him? Why can't I eat him? There's a guy there. Can I get in? Yes, I can. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, he smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Jesus, this game's weird. No, I'm still the monster. Great. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Well, this is easier. Much easier to move now. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm back inside the house now, I think. It's my bathroom. I got closer and closer. Oh, it's my mum and dad's bedroom. Oh, God, because it's not creepy, is it? Can I not go up? No. Can I go under? No. Ugh. I'm stuck. Oh my god. I've stopped being able to move easily again. Come on. What am I doing? What's this? Just a reflection? Oh, hold on. All my stomach started growling. Right. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. It's oh, not right. going it's to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Okay. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Right. Okay. I don't know what this is. Um. Right. Cat. You had a cat. Where's the cat? Hey, puss cat. Okay, because that's what I was going to do, climb out the window, because, you know, that's normal. 
We've got to follow the cat now. Where did the cat go? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Did she like birds? Ooh, cockatiel. I used to have one of those as a kid. What's that? An owl. But you regard. Wow. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Hmm, ooh, nice sewing machine. Hmm. Her room was like a museum. Mysteries of death and thereafter. Ugh, freaky picture. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping <laughs> to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. So that's what they mean when, when she said earlier about the house sinking. That was a bit confusing. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Okay. Okay, so I'm inside this bedroom now, right, okay. What do, books does he like? Do they like? More monsters of the deep. <gasps> this family have a lot of duplicate books. Like, why don't they share books? <laughs> Gotta have your own copy. Right. Oh, this is Grandma's room. Why does it say? Oh, it must have been Granddad's room as well at one point, I suppose. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, hats. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. VHS. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, <laughs> but she didn't. Nice one. Bit of spin doctrine. Oh, 
like those gnomes. I've seen a few of them around. Or different size ones. Okay. In the 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Wow. There's some flooring. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Ducks. Lots of ducks. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> yeah, that's pink. Jesus, it opens into another... What's going on? Ooh. Hang on a minute. Before I do that, can I get in there? Oh, no, that's the sealed doorway. Okay, okay. I gotcha. Right, let's go down the rabbit hole a bit further. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> cool. Okay. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. The problem I'm having here is there's so many people's names being talked about, I can't keep track of who everybody is. What the hell is that? Oh, it's... right, okay, it's for... Printing photographs. Mm -hmm red light. So this is the dark room. Okay. With the cut off valve for gas. Can I get down there? What's in there? Come on. Wow, that was a lot of noises. Milton. Booze bowls. Okay. Which room's this? Okay, <laughs> I'm guessing there was some sort of family feud going on here. We have a rope down the middle of the room. Demarcation zone. <laughs> Me and my sister did that, I'm sure. When we shared a room. Oh, is that some steps? Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. Well, this is cool. I wish I lived in a house like this. It's well cool. <laughs> I guess my grandpa didn't like Man history sent. any more than my mom did. Oh, wow. This is brilliant! Oh, I'm well jealous. I wish I'd had something like this when I was a kid. And it's cool, Calvin. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, God. Okay, so toggle sticks to swing. My brother said he'd die before Whee. he ate another mushroom. And he did. Alexa, family, cancel. We swore Shut up. We'd never be afraid again. Look, and you put wasn't. me out of rhythm now. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. 
Oh, I can I go? We. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Going around? Oh, okay. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Let's try it then. We're going around. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. I'm gonna kill myself, Anna. Come on. Baby. He'd still be here, but I doubt it. Ugh. I think he'd already made up his mind. <gasps> uh oh. I've got a broken foot as well, as I'm at. I'm not going round, am I? Can't do it. I don't think I'm getting any higher now, am I? Or am I? That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, oh, I am getting higher. I think I'm getting higher. Shit in hell, I am getting higher. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, if I had VR, this would be well scary. <gasps> oh my god, I went all the way around. I went all the way around. Oh shit. Okay, oh, fuck it up. <laughs> Jesus. That gave me quite a real feeling, that did. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Oh, I just need to calm down a bit. My heart's racing now. <laughs> right, okay. So, did Calvin die? Well, he did die. He died in 1961, but... Was it because he went all the way around the swing? Um... Oh, okay. Thanks for the warning. <gasps> Shit. I don't do horror games. If it's a horror game, I'm going to bail. Edie roped off Calvin out of the room. Oh, I see. It was after the funeral. It was roped off. Oh. That's sad. For Sam. Okay, so what does Sam have up in his little corner? Oh, I see. Mysteries. Mysteries. Can I get... Oh, I can't get across there. Can I? Doesn't look like it. Mom said shelf. that Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. <coughs> I see. Is that the hungry caterpillar? Uh, what's going on? Get in there. Ah, ha, 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 that's cool. Okay. Oh my god, this house is so cool. I love it. I want somebody to build me a house like this. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. That looks out over the um, landing, I think. Oh, God. I don't need any more anticipation. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the wine rack. Ah, I get it, I get it. So you can get out here. If I want. Well, I don't want to, do I? Right, okay. I'll keep going. Keep going. Um... Going on. Growing oh. up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I'm in Barbara's room. Okay, she likes that picture. Jesus. Oh, that's all the merch. Okay, I get you. I get you. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. I thought that was Mr. Blobby then, but it's a cat or something. Right, let's have a look at this. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Ugh. Surprise I'll ending of Barbara with Fitch. another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Okay. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream Beastie at con. a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Um, well, so far, yes, I, I would say so. Right I'm not far in. But it's been good so far. And it's free if you get PSN Network um, membership thingy, so it's definitely worth a try. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed Yeah, that's what I've done. I haven't looked at what it was about. I've just come into it without watching anything. I just downloaded it because it was a free game for me. So if you think you want to play it, I'd go now okay, and download it and play it and don't but I'm not don't carry on watching. Terror. <laughs> what if I tried? A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding oh. until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. Right, I'll be okay. Back in a sec. So I need to go back to the music box. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look Enjoy. at him. Enjoy. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, okay. You wind in it, eh? The key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Ah, I see. I don't want to go in the basement. I don't want to go in the basement. No. Do I have to? Shit. Oh, I need the loo. Maybe I shouldn't go down here while I need the loo. <laughs> Imagine the worst. Uh, okay. Oh shit, there's blood. Fuck. Um. This doesn't look 
good. Um, can I get in? Oh. Uh. <laughs> get out of the way. Because I'm not making a noise or anything. I hope there's nobody in here. Because they know I'm here now. Get in. Get in, get in, get in. Right, I'm in. Fucking music. The game Stop it. The infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Follow the light. Follow the flashy light. Edge rattled and grew still. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you deserve that, mate. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. <laughs> well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you He threw him out. Slap. <laughs> he kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late Picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter? What's going on up there? Ah! Okay, uh. I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I've got a crutch. And I will.
is coming from inside the house. Ah. Uh. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't think I'd say oh dear. <laughs> really? She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave a performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh, nice. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. An ear on the back. Lovely. Is that that's the tree? All Edie wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Right, I'm just gonna have to let nip to the loo. I'll be back in two minutes. Right, what next? Well, I'm liking it so far, although I am a little bit paranoid that I'm going to be scared, but I think I'm scaring myself. I'm expecting to be scared. <laughs> So, God, that sort of looks like Mr. Blobby. Um, ugh. Right, seriously, how long has this house been abandoned? Because, um, what's with the eerie noises? There's not enough dust around this place for it to have been abandoned for six years. The red carrot. Is it more bloody cookery books? I 
And if that had been abandoned for six years, that pizza's in good nick. Hmm. I don't know that one. Shut up, Alexa. Right. So, I guess we're going out. I'm guessing I'm I guess skinny. now I know why Mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Hmm. Alright, we'll go this way then. Alright, so I've been in Barbara's room. I think that's this floor done. I think it is. Should be able to go upstairs now. Mm. Yeah, because I've been in there. I've been in there. Yeah, yeah. I think it was time to go upstairs. Okay. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Yep. I must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh, okay. I guess we're not going upstairs then. Hmm. This is where I wander around flailing because I don't know where I'm going. Right, I've definitely been in the left room. Was that my room? Hmm. That's where it, your man fell down. I went in there. And I ended up in there. Oh, have I got to go down into the basement now, for real, instead of just in the story? Oh, shit. And get the key out of the music box. I haven't been in there yet. It's not a secret passageway. That looks... Hmm. Right, where was that music box? Here it is, here it is. God. crutch lying around anyway. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, I, for the past two years, I've only really been playing Neverwinter and occasionally Assassin's Creed when it comes out, although I haven't finished Origins yet and I haven't started Odyssey. But I've not been playing games much lately. I've been doing life things. <laughs> this is the first time I've been on another game really since those two a couple of years. It just piqued my interest when I saw it in the um, free games for me. Um, is this actually the garage? No. Ooh, Sven. Uh, Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Ooh, somebody's been doing some wood carving. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like story driven games. It's just I am very, very wussy. So, you know. Uh, I don't like jump scares, so I get paranoid that something's going to jump out at me. Uh, I saw Edie sneak down to the basement dark. once, carrying packages. Carrying packages. I have not played Outcast. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> I've, um. Outcast? Which one's that? Is that the one set in the asylum? But generally, horror games are not my thing. What's going on? Can I get up there? No. I need a torch. Is there a light switch anywhere? Oh, there's no power, is there? God damn it. Yeah, I've seen some of those videos and... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not my kind of thing. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Like, maybe if I had somebody in the room with me. But when it's just me on my own. <laughs> nope. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, there's a generator. Okay. Cool. Let's go and um get the generator going. Sounds like there's a generator. There's electric here anyway. Right, seriously, is there not a torch? Oh, okay, the lights come on. Jesus Christ, why am I doing this? I remember asking Mom once about what You promised me gone. it's not a horror game. I'm gonna end up shitting myself. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Okay, we're in the prepper zone. Oh, is this because what's his name lived worked a in a in cannery? Yeah, I think it's one of those. Maybe one of those. Well, for me, especially where I like build it up to be far more scary than it actually is. I think it's that because I'm a wuss. <laughs> First aid kit, that's handy to know. It's like a bloody bunker, isn't it? Walter, oh, we've... We've got allocated areas. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> I've been down here for 30 years. Oh god. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. What's this, peaches? It's always too peaches. To be dead tomorrow. <laughs> okay. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Hang on a minute. It's gone eight years. What's going on? I'm sure it said 68, and now it's 76. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. I'm just living on Camp Peaches. friendly. Yep. <laughs> Maybe you should have packed something more than just Camp Peaches. Day, everything just... 2005? 
Stop. What the hell? Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Yeah, 68 to, to 2005. Well, I still can. Okay, so I'm leaving now, am I? Oh, what's this? Okay, it's the way out. Um, so many books. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this house. It's like you run out of space to put your books I know somewhere. It's out there, somewhere. So you dig a tunnel to put books in. <laughs> My kind of people. I know it's out there. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. <sighs> and Calvin. Is this a fireplace? Or is that the tunnel? Tunnel. The tunnel. Am I going that way? No. What? Floundering in the dark. That's what I'm doing. It looks like I should go that way. Nope. Flounder. This isn't the way out then. Oh, hold on. Maybe this is all a mistake. Oh, I see. But I need to stop Whack living the out. same day. Even if it kills me. out there I want you to know I'm ready for it I'm not <laughs> I'm going to appreciate all of it especially the food I don't mind if I only have a year left or a month or a single week I'd be happy with one new day I can already imagine the sun on my face Does that mean he died in 2005 died when he got out? Six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. So he lived there all that time while they were in the house above him. Wow. Cause that's not weird. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. It's just a picture out <laughs> behind the window. <coughs> Oh, I see. That's what it was. Come on. 
Ran over by a train, was it? Come on. Get down. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. No, get down. What are you doing, you stupid girl? Get down. Come on. If she never told me about an uncle under the house. Right, <laughs> you do. Just keep your uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the it same mistakes she made. Fireplace or something. something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. <sighs> I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Yeah, there should really have been a notice on the wall, like on the way out or something. Beware of trains. That would have been handy. Else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Shrine to where he died. No. Rip. Rip Walt. Okay. Well, where did that go? Jesus. There's a lot of land missing. So, the rumbling that the guy heard all the time while he was locked up in there was just the train going past. He thought it was some sort of monster. Right, am I just gonna go wandering blindly around the woods now in the dark? Cause that's wise. I don't know if I should even be writing this. It's a very lovely game. I like the art. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Hmm. Maybe it was the family train. <laughs> Like, as a hobby. Uh, did that light just come on? Or was it hidden behind a plant? We're getting paranoid about a light. But I thought you should know about your family. No, yeah, that definitely just came on. Alright, calm down, it's just P.I.R. Calm down. <coughs> so I'm guessing we're going in there, but I just want to nosey around a little bit. Ooh, totem pole. The path back up to the house, I guess. I think
feel like I'm very low to the ground. Am I crawling or what? I feel very short. <laughs> Am I short? Um, right, let's just go up the overflow pipe then. Uh, where did it go? Hang on a minute. Shit, is the water coming in? Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Calm down. Calm down. Am I crawling or something? Because I do feel very low to the ground. Right. In here? No? I was wrong. Okay. Fine. I'll go up the stairs then. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. <sighs> yep. Hey, that was quite a big totem pole, wasn't it? Okay, cool it does. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Oh god, I love this place. Anything to see? Anything to see here? <coughs> this is a big totem pole. I'm not sure where it's fallen from though. Up there maybe? Uh, why do I uh, jump when the bloody light comes on? It's just a PIR. God's sake. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Well, this looks safe. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible <laughs> well I suppose if you like watch enough horror films or play enough horror games you kind of become a bit you can make yourself get used to things, can't you? I just don't watch them because I'm a wuss. Um, anything over here? Some supplies? Soil? Some sort of storage tank? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. You light the lamp? Nope. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Like, where am I actually going? Should I be going this way or should I go back to the house? Oh, sod it. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <laughs> I'll get there. 
Christopher Shadow Shatsy Oliver Bob oh. <laughs> Three of the gerbils were mine and two had been my fault Oh dear Did you kill the gerbils? <laughs> Derpy Junior, Derpy Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy <laughs> Somebody got lurpy and zerpy. Somebody got uh, lost inspiration for animal names, it looks like. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. No, I'm always there. Uh... Calvin, Sven and Edie, Walter, no, oh, bless you, Barbara, quite nice actually, having a, oh this I'm is sure that Odin's statue. i had been Edie's idea, my mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie the past never went away. Oh I see, is it? Oh, oh, All right. This is to memorialize the sunken house. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Focus. Oh, there we go. Edie oh, said yeah. she dreamed about the old house every night. It's as close as I can get. How long's that been in there? There wouldn't be that much of it left after all these years. Give over. Now do I get out? Okay, this is high. I haven't made it very far up the house, have I? Look how tall it is. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> I think it's quite cool actually Maybe to have a graveyard in your back garden. Understand. Keep all your family close. The older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory Salmon Gus. I know. <laughs> that houseboat, that's quite cool. Oh, it's a bench. Right. I thought it was another grave. <laughs> oh, there's Milton. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. Sanjay I get why she Kuma. tried so hard to protect us. Lewis. Everybody's dead. Everybody is dead. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. <gasps> oh my god, there's a treehouse. There's a treehouse. Up we go. Oh, I want to be a cat again. <laughs> but looking back on it now, oh 
my god, I love this place. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh my god, I'm pregnant, really? What are you even doing, you mad woman? Why did you come now? <coughs> Hang on a minute, you're only 17. What are you doing? Bloody pregnant at 17. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> um, right, so now I'm on the roof, but not as a cat. Fine. Because this is what sensible pregnant women do. Uh, can I climb up here? Nope. Just randomly, randomly wander around the roof. 22 weeks pregnant, Jesus Christ. I couldn't even bend my knees properly at 22 weeks pregnant. Good, thank you. How's yours been? Alright, where am I supposed to go? Um, thank you. Should I just get down? Maybe I should just get down. Oh, there's a ladder. Dozy cow. A ladder there. Get up there. Come on. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry in the end. <laughs> I'm too busy, like, trying to look at everything that I don't see stuff. <laughs> like, I'm that paranoid about missing things that I miss things. <laughs> okay, let's go inside, I guess. This game makes me do stuff. Um, yuck. Dead carcass on the floor. Uh, oh my god, dead bird. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that it's... It's like more of a story, isn't it, than a sort of game to be played, I guess. Uh, what's going on? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, how do I focus? Am I going to yeah. have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Oh! Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Dawn, then we can take off. I'll shoot you in the camera. Ah! Uh, quite. I don't know where she is. Where is she? Why is it not focusing? Ah! I'm over here, Dad. Where? <laughs> I can't focus. How do I focus? Oh, there we go. Oh, right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, there she is. God, I'm so blind. You're right. I am. Left stick focus. Perfect. Right stick to take the picture. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Odin Finch you trail map. Of me or what? I did it already. Jeez. Oh, you're there. Sorry, we're in Never a different place. This. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. Oh, nice. Nice island. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Definitely 
should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, he's on my way. What's up? Let's. Hold still. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. I'm just randomly clicking now. <gasps> Bird! Dad. Good eyes, Don. Isn't that the bird I was chasing when I was uh, a cat? Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Um, where is she? There's a slightly ominous music track in the background here. Oh, there she is. Don't kill it! Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do I have to do this? No, don't, you don't. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Now keep yourself squared up. Wrong button. Down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Really? <gasps> Great That's shot, out of God. order. Made me shoot the bloody gun at the same time as the camera, that's not fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm moving a body net. What the hell? Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. Oh, I see. <laughs> what the hell? Run. Run, man, run. Run. Run, 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 run. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's... That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about... Dad! Oh. Ha-ha! Sorry. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Karma right there. <laughs> Although he All didn't shoot stories, it, but he made her shoot it. That my mom had told me. So, so you're right, mate. <sighs> right. Okay. Now what? Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. I'm afraid of everything. Lol. Um. I'm guessing that's the way out, and I haven't really looked around the rest of the place yet. So, I'm gonna have a mooch. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. So that's the sealed up door, I'm guessing. Oh my god, a cat, really? Some people are weird. K. Who's K? <coughs> um. Right. Okay. 
okay? Nothing to see here. Let's go outside then. Oh, I see. K, right, okay. There's so many names in this game. Can't keep track. It needs a bolt on it, really? Or is that because there's a gun in there? Right, okay. On to more. More doom. There's loads of them. So we're in the loft now. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. The hell is that? Some sort of sciency gadget. Why is there a child gate? What the hell? <sighs> Oh, because that's not freaky. Uh. <sighs> Divorce. Oh, my God. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Just having a drink. Hang on. I think there's uh. some things the rest of us don't. I'm controlling the duck with the frog. Can I uh, do anything? Okay. So now I'm a frog. <laughs> over, Gregory. It's time to hold on, sweetie. Okay. Hello. So.
Let's get up on that shelf. I know how silly it sounds. Way. All right, what else can I get? But I worried about a baby being too mm -hmm. happy. <laughs> Bubbles. Wee. Sorry about that, Gregory. Ah. I know you did everything you could. God damn it! <laughs> I was enjoying that. Damn it! Really? You're gonna leave me in here to freeze now? Um. Oh, frog's still moving. Okay. Oh, what's that? Boink. I wish you could have told us. Oops. a whale. All the ties. I'm guessing he drowned in the bath. No. What a shame. Everybody just keeps dying. And we've got lockers now. Oh. I'm obviously a heartless bitch because it didn't make me cry. <laughs> Teamwork. Um, can I get in those? Gregory, Dawn, Gus. <laughs> it was funny. Well, it was fun, I mean, playing in the bath. Gus. Oh, okay, Dawn's is open. And empty. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Okay. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh shit, I'm flying a kite. Ooh. Ooh. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make Oops. That's what you do at a wedding ceremony, fly a kite.
Not very easy to crash, is it? Command words, next words. Can I do any stunts? Oh, no, wrong button. My bad. Like, the words aren't going when I... Uh... What's going on? Go left. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the totem pole. Look. Knock all the letters off it. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Rude. <laughs> okay. I've got to knock some more letters off of somewhere. No, oh, here we go. picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went but all the humans did that day was go inside the tent oh yeah probably oh there they are oh, oh. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Right. Just drag all the furniture with me, it's fine. Hang on a minute, shouldn't be flying a kite when there's a storm. Hmm. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Whee. I've never seen a kite do this before. Um, okay, um, ah. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Yeah, I'm glad this found. isn't VR. <laughs> <sighs> okay. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <sighs> so, right, so that door's sealed up. Oh, emergency evacuation plan. Pass the mail fox with all the old chain link things on it. Emergency assembly area. House rules. Lol. Raise flag seven thirty, breakfast at eight. Quiet time eleven PM. Well little exercise routine there. Climbing well. 
Ooh. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. <laughs> Didn't notice that. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh my god, I actually love this house. There's so many nooks and crannies, it's great. Um, uh, let's look at the desk She first. spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Ooh, I nice that. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. A little chill out area, isn't Lewis it? Lewis was born a year later. Oh my god, this house. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. Oh, hope garden. The house had to get a little bigger, but... Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. We homeschooled. Looks like it. Laptop. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday when Edie gave him a castle. It's the castle then. Also sealed up. And can't go that way. have another painter in the family. That is cool. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Okay, it's a fucking book. 
I know. Wow, this is a big flicker book. spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Let's check around here. I can't go around here now. Push my way through. Nope. This is neat though. Is this the very top? Nope. That's up there. Right here. And that's the way I came. Let's go up the really safe looking rickety stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Feeling like I'm in Assassin's Creed all this bloody climbing, jeez. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. It's all very precarious, isn't it? Right, left or right? Ooh. Right takes us up to the next level, so... I guess we'll go left. A boat, really? We've got a boat at the top of the house? Okay. Because that's safe. Jesus, I wouldn't be swinging on some on the front of a boat, like poised over an open space. Jesus. All right. Thank you. I picked the right way then. Also, it's that instinct to go left. I always have this instinct to go left. When I come to a junction. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Uh, I think somebody's been uh, <coughs> into the wacky backy in this establishment here. I'm playing computer games and some trippy art. How's he playing? Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Yeah, sounds like me. Uh, Lewis Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, uh -oh. I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, 
shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh my god. Chuck it down there. Chuck it. Chuck it away. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. Chuck it. Oh, I need to go faster. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His Chuck mind it. began to... What's my mind doing now? Wonder. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wee. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh my god, I've got to do two things at once. Are you actually kidding me? I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. could feel his way about. Then Come something on. moved. Get up. Bats. And toads. Um. And things that have not names. Uh, can't get me toggles right. Where am I going? God damn it, I caught up before. Behind on the fish. Let's go around there. Let's go around there. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is so fucking weird. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focus. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. I think we're losing I ourselves, are we? Friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly Not wrong with brick that. by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. God, this takes some concentration, doesn't it, Jesus? We talked about starting a band. Oops. We'll go in there? Nope. He was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. Oh God, don't expect me to read as well. I'm lost, where am I? Why is everybody crowding me? 
but his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Conquer a city, then immediately push on. Never said I was good at games. <laughs> New Louisville. New Louisville. St. Louis. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Come on, boat. Minneapolis, until one day he forgot to go home from the Lewis. Lol. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. I'm sure if you turn off the conveyor belt, I might stop. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Uh, hang on a minute. I didn't know I had to make a choice. Uh, over there. Go over there. The queen was on her own quest for. Sinister serpents. <laughs> Missed it. He followed the sound Back of her. Off. Ah, I miss the sitter. Silver Hawk. Oh, I'm getting distracted from my fish. And I'm behind. <coughs> His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Hey, how many? But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him.
Ah. Ah. What's going on? Why have I not gone in? Going on. <laughs> I think I broke the game. Uh, I think I've glitched. Can't get out the corner. Um, damn it. Nope. Oh, hold on. I think I'm outside the world. Um, God damn it. Uh, nope, nope, my notebook will that help. Options will that help. No. God's sake. I need to do all that again, aren't I? And it's nearly 1am for me. So I think this is probably a good time to call it and come back to it another time. Oh, man. I see how the fish haven't glitched. They're still bloody coming. Is it finished? Am I near the end? Like, if I restart the game, will it come back to here? Stuck, aren't I? Can't get through that door. That doesn't do anything. <sighs> God damn it. Right, I'm gonna restart because I don't think I think I'm Let me restart the game. That's not a bad idea. Go to bed. I'm really sad about that because I was quite enjoying that. More than I thought I would, to be fair. I might try and come back and finish it tomorrow. Come on, next fish. Come on, fish. time to call it because I'm not going anywhere am I? I'm just getting this ominous music in my ears. Like do any hang on let me fiddle with some buttons. Button 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 that just does that. X doesn't do anything, square doesn't do anything. What the hell? I don't seem to be able to go anywhere though. What's going on? I 
Am I supposed to go through the door? <gasps> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh my God! Oh, I nearly gave up. <sighs> well, if you reckon it's about 20 minutes, I might just carry on. It's only 1am, I mean. You need to sleep, right? to bed. Hey, thank you very much for your company. It's been very much appreciated. And your little nudges every now and then have been great to keep me going. Um, has, has it said save? Has it saved it? Yeah, because I don't want to go through all those bleeding fishes again. Jesus. Like, is this fish blood or is this human blood? <coughs> That's a very posh door to have in a cannery. I take it I'm not in the cannery. I'm not in the cannery anymore. Dozy cow. Can I get out? No. Hmm. Come on, lose me in it. Suck me in. Nope. Began to forget the world we know. Oh, I'm in the cannery. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Could use your left hand, mate. It'd help ease the RSI. Just saying. It's not a very hygienic place, is it? Because this looks wise. I know, let's go up here. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Oh, faceless. Oh yes, the adulation. 
Okay, the music's getting a bit loud now. Oh dear. Yeah, because that looks like I've really got a crown on me. Head. I like the dress, love. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Hmm. I think I'm too confused and overwhelmed by it all. I really like that picture. It's blue swirly one, it's cool. Did that save? Because I need to go to bed. Yeah. He went a bit mental, didn't he? Oh, that's the way I came in. No, I didn't want to go back out again. Go back in. Let's go out this other door. Open it. But I'm nearly at the top. Only back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. The last house. I'm not sure. Uh, the last room. To make it easier or harder. I swear, if I could have a house like this, I would. It's great. Oh, it's saved now. But I understand why we left. Come on, get out there. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. Okay, last night. Let's go. That whole 
last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oops. Right, the power this? had been shut off that morning, but he always hallway. had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. I called it. I knew there was a bloody or way in. He had a key to it. Come on, open it. Jesus, all the rest of the house isn't the library. I thought I went in the library earlier. <coughs> what you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. Hush. I think it's best. If Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Oh, wow. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. There's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Ooh, does that mean we can get to the old house? The tide's out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Not that way, obviously. Hello. Um. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Oh, is they that what it was? It the lowest tide in a thousand years. You've come in at the end. We're near the end of the game, I believe. I think I should have started earlier in the day, but I'm going to finish it now, because sod it. I got turned around. Uh, I don't think I did. Might be now. What is that? Oh, I hate fog. For a while, 
I wondered. I started seeing things. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. I've enjoyed it. I didn't think I would, but... Because I was a bit worried it was a horror game, but... I was assured... ...that it wasn't, so I persevered. It's been good. Things I'd forgotten had Flaring blindly, as I always do with these things. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Tyler. Clock. Or maybe I came back to them. Oh my god, no. <sighs> I'd be proper shitting myself. Things I can't explain. Um, but I need you to try and Edith, what are you doing in here? Oh? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged okay. me to the car. Oh, leave him. Uh, I suppose it's a bit depressing, but I never saw great grandma Edie again. Oh, that's really sad. The next morning, the van came to pick her up. But Bye, she Grandma. She did a runner. I don't blame After her. After that, we moved around a lot. Nope, just putting me in an arm. We. We. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so heartless. Can I blow it? Blow it? Blow. <sighs> My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Oh. The rest happened pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, shit. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Bummer. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Bummer. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Uh, am I in war? If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. I go up there. This journal was supposed to be for you. Oh God, I'm gonna be born, no, aren't I? For God's sake! I I'm just a bloody baby you. now. I, I see the shape. I guess if you're reading this now. Things to Oh, this brings back way. memories. <laughs> Come on. Uh. This is where your story begins. No. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's Why not? a lot to ask. 
But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, okay. So I was my son all the time, was I? I presume. Oh, look at that, so sad. Well. And a trophy. Woo. Oh, I don't think I was paying that much attention. Like I do with these things, I just blunder into them. Is that what's it? That's looks like an assassin from Assassin's Creed on the <laughs> little ornament figuring thing well that was good I don't know how long I've... it took actually I don't know when I started I think it was about 11 o'clock so maybe like two hours or so Trophy earned, thanks, Johan. <sighs> you think the PC version's uh, off stream? Sorry, I read that as on Steam <laughs> instead of off stream. <clears throat> That's good. Especially for a free game. I have to say, I think my favourite bit was the cartoon, comic, book, story. And I don't know if that's just because I had, um, I had the crutch and I was hitting things kind of felt reassuring like I wasn't too vulnerable yeah I think that was the best one. Oh no apart from in the bath I know you were sad when the baby died but I was enjoying myself in the bath before it you know got dark <laughs> Does everybody watch to the end of the credits? I always, I'm like this with films. I always have to watch to the end of the credits because you never know if you're gonna get any bonus scenes or little Easter eggs because you've got to the end of the tiles. Credits. Not just me then. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> the Edith Finch team, right? So it did come out in 2017. <laughs> the replay story option is now available. Select 
Edith to play from the beginning. Oh, okay, so you can sort of go in at, <coughs> at any time and replay part of it. I wonder if there's any value in replaying it, though, at all. Like, if I'd gone in different directions, would different things have happened? Mm, yeah, I suppose. Well, I quite enjoyed that. I wasn't... Um, I didn't know what to expect. I just liked the look of it when I saw it on PSN and I thought, oh, I'll download that and have a go. Um, so I think I watched a little bit of the video, but then I thought, no, I'll download that and I quit. I didn't watch all the, like, intro video on PSN. But yeah, that was quite good. Right, you're talking about Outcast. Now, there must be something that's a little bit, like, more sedate that would be better, like, rather than just throwing a person in at the deep end of Outcast. It seems a bit uh, harsh to throw a person who doesn't like horror into Outcast, you know what I mean? Did we get camera control? I should have gone inverted, I think. Now, I have played um, episode one of Life is Strange, I think. Because that was free. Again, that was a free PSN game at one point, but I haven't played any of the others. I do like this story. I, like, I quite like that because I'm crap at games. And that one didn't really need me to remember the controls very much. Um... So, yeah, it was quite easy to sort of just pick up and go with. So, I might have a look. Dark Souls, are you actually kidding me? That, that game is rock hard. I would have no chance. No chance. <laughs> I would be dying so hard. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, thank you very much for your company guys and gals whatever you may be um it's now 25 past 1 a.m where i am so uh i think it's time to go thanks for the hints without ruining spoiler free hints that was much appreciated Alright, cool. You're across the Irish Sea. Okie dokie. I'm gonna call it there, I think. I'll say good night. Thanks again, folks. Bye.